A criticism that I've heard a few times about Obama's performance in the debates is that he seemed unprepared. But I don't really blame him for that, because I don't think any of us were prepared for even Mitt Romney to lie as much and as blatantly as he did. If I were debating somebody and I said, the sky is blue, and the other guy said, uh, no, that's not right, actually, the sky is green, my response would have been something like, what, I, what, I, what, I mean, how do you respond to that? You could simply say, that's a lie, but that's not very convincing. Essentially, the debate went like this. Romney's gonna undo all of the awesome stuff that I've done. Nuh-uh, I'm gonna do all of that same stuff, but in a Republican way. Uh, how would that work, exactly? Well, it's all very complicated. There are lots of different ways. We'll talk about that later. For example... Some of the prescriptions that he's offered, like letting you buy insurance across state lines, there's no indication that that somehow is going to help somebody who's got a pre-existing condition be able to finally buy insurance. So what do you got to say about that, Romney? It's, it's, it's a, a lengthy descript description, but number one, pre-existing conditions are covered under my plan. So don't worry, pre-existing conditions will still be covered under my plan, but don't ask me how, it's a lengthy description. Just trust me whenever I say something that I refuse to substantiate. And then there was this blatant fucking lie. You raise taxes and you kill jobs. You raise taxes, you kill jobs, you lower taxes, you create jobs. This is horse shit that even Republicans with a basic knowledge of economics knows is just wrong. There is absolutely no correlation between tax rates and job growth. There is zero evidence for this claim whatsoever. But that logic does seem to be the basis for this claim. Uh, first can, of all, let me, can, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me repeat. Let me repeat what I said. Sorry. I'm not in favor of a five trillion dollar tax cut. That's not my plan. My plan is not to put in place any tax cut that will add to the deficit. His plan is to cut everyone's rates 20%. Over 10 years, that does add up to $5 trillion. The reason he disputes this figure is because he believes that lowering tax rates will increase job growth, thus increasing tax revenue. My priority is jobs. And so what I do is I bring down the tax rates, lower deductions and exemptions. The same idea behind Bowles Simpson, by the way. Get the rates down lower deductions and exemptions to create more jobs because there's nothing right. better for getting us to a balanced budget than having more people working, earning more money, paying more taxes. That's by far the most effective and efficient way to get this budget balanced. Obama should have been prepared for Romney to make this claim. This is something that Republicans have been saying for over 30 years, and even they don't believe it. In 1980, George Bush Sr. called it voodoo economics. This is an idea that has been debunked a billion fucking times. Do I have to link to that video of Ben Stein again? I know y'all hate Ben Stein, but there's a great video where he explains exactly why this whole idea is complete and utter horseshit. So check that out. I put it in the description.